Hej, cześć siemano wam ludzie. Witam was w kolejnym odcinku e, drugiego epi epizodu The Walking Dead. E, podjęliśmy decyzję, z, podjąłem decyzję, że pójdziemy jednak. E, pójdziemy jednak po to jedzenie. Zobaczymy, zobaczymy jak się sytuacja rozwinie. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Just you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine might know. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. I'm not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I want to Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem to be pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? <coughs> Lily Kenya. To Demokracja. Dobra, dajmy to. Her's a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit. She needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Whoa, I thought so. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking posing. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry, and all. you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Well, oh no, there's yeah, you know what? More. He ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Whoa. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole. Yeah, Pierre Jella. Here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Kurczę, właśnie w takim The Walking Dead jest świetnie pokazane, co się dzieje z ludźmi podczas takiej apokalipsy. Mieście jakieś wypadki? Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Where? 
I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't <coughs> safe for you to here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, I, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? But she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Wydaje mi się, że jest to bezpieczne, więc nie zrobić, co w naszym momencie, żeby pomóc. Może to? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence for them sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay. Tam coś jest. Tam jest chyba huśtawka zepsuta. Zobaczmy, zobaczmy jakaś interakcja jest. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Hmm. <laughs> Mamy sikierę, więc dobrze by było, kurczę, jakąś deskę znaleźć i linę. <śmiech> tu mamy bramę. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Okay. Dobra, zobaczmy co mamy tutaj. Rzydzenie z palików. Hmm, O, jest deska, jest deska. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. O, proszę. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Ok, mamy deskę. Teraz przydałoby się jeszcze kurczę to jakoś zamocować. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, 
can't take any chances when it comes to safety. W ogóle jest jakiś zbiornik. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Hmm. Dobra. Co my tu jeszcze możemy? Tu możemy. O, to coś jest. Hey, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Przez to tym pomoc ciekawi mnie wasze sodalnie. Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what. We'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Czy co nie mogę wyjść stąd, tak? Ah, there'll be plenty of time for all that stuff later. After we go fix up the fence. Mhm. Dobra, to pogadajmy z nim. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. It's been stockpiling, huh? Nikt nie leci z nami. W chumie możemy pomóc. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. What is in here? Let's try to open it. Ah, damn it! An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers. Walkers? Is that what you call them? That's good. The old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generator. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We got to keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Hmm. Splash him a good one. I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points. Well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Okay. No to idziemy ogarniać i oczyszczać ogrodzenie. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. Dobrze, z niego jakoś się dogadamy przynajmniej. Hmm. Dobra, może to. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Oh, oh, oh. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Who do you think he was? No, важно, może pomocnikiem efemi się nami to żaden z nas. At least it's not one of us. And he said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice. Poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Dobra, weźmy może strzałę. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Bez benzyny jest bezużyteczna forteca. Potrzebuje ludzi do obrony. To nie, no dajmy to. Fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Co masz na myśli? No dajmy to. I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. 
kolejny. To co odrąbać trzeba? You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ, I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Skazany się na robocie, bo jest zagotowany o coś do jedzenia. Też jestem głodny. Do you think they're gonna be good for us? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <coughs> Okay, pink. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Get to the gate! Yes, snake wind. Get down! You asshole! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Yeah, Pierre Jella. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Co jest kuźwa? Chowa się, chowa się, chowa się. O, jest tu coś, jest, 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 jest. jest. Aha. Dobra, trzeba było podnieść. Ja pierdzielę. No nie. No nie. One of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. Dobra, bierz tego dziada. Kuś wejle oni tych strzał mają. No nie następny. Bierz dziada, bierz dziada. Wow! Lol! Jeszcze raz, jeszcze raz. Nie ma opcji szmato. O tak. Ja pierdzielę. Serio, jeszcze nas tu gówno gładzi. O proszę. O Jesus. Gdy z niej się włączyło, to była zasadzka mała to. Holy shit! Are are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. 
Oh, my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be all right once it's out, but god damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh, my god. What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh, no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best What kind man. of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, so I'm that's to... real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. O, matka kochana. <śmiech> no, zaczyna się kurczę już nawet coś dziać na tej niestety niby to bezpiecznej farmie. E, ok, kochani, słuchajcie. To by było na tyle w tym odcinku. Myślę, że zakończę w tym miejscu i zobaczymy, co tam będzie się działo już w następnym. Dalej. Także słuchajcie, jeżeli wam się odcinek spodobał, nie zapomnijcie zostawić ła łapy w górę, ocenić go. No i do zobaczyska w kolejnym odcinku. Trzymajcie się, hej!